We have UK versus US. We have falling. We have diagram lists. Breck kek kek kek. And find the solution. These are our five options. I'm starting up the two minute poll now. Breck kek kek and UK versus US and falling are all taking a bit of a lead here. It's a race between Falling and Breck Heck Heck. UK versus US seems to be out of it. All right, Falling just barely, just barely got it. All right, I'm out of channel points. We got up to 47 votes on Falling. That's insane. This is red 1-2, which is here. This one also has some um, crossword-like tendencies in that we have clues. My original guess is still the guess that I currently have, which is somehow we're gonna order these down here. Um, they might be alphabetized right now by the answers, I'm not sure. Or maybe they're in the correct order already. And then I'm guessing these arrows are in some way an index for us into, into those answers. Okay, yeah, there's 33 of these and there are 33 colored lines at the beginning. All right, so this is what we're doing. We also have all the arrows, but I figure I figure first we'll, we'll start by um, trying to solve some of these, see what we got, and then we'll uh, turn to the... Turn to the arrows once we have a decent number of these, or at least some of these to work with. When unraveling, either literally or figuratively, how do things fall apart at the seams, says Dragon Engineer. That makes sense, and it does come early alphabetically. Um, in the Southern Hemisphere, which is the first full moon of fall? Which is the first full moon of fall? Okay. The Harvest Moon and Hunter's Moon are traditional names for the full moon in late summer and in autumn in the Northern Hemisphere. Full moon names. April. Oh, they're just named after the month. I like April. Um, good suggestion, Stephen. Shortly after you turn in for the night, where do you fall? You fall asleep. Okay. What metaphorical objects do people let fall when they may fall? Let the chips fall where they fall? Isn't it chips? Through what metaphorical gaps do excessive tasks or demands fall? Good guess on Cracks, Tacey Oakley, and Steven. In which direction do you primarily move when you fall? Down. <laughs> which celestial body pulls on you the most strongly when you fall? That would be the Earth. So one thing that I've noticed is that we have a lot of clues that seem to maybe overlap but one's in like the northern hemisphere and one's in the southern hemisphere. I don't know if that's important yet. If someone loses their savings or means of support on what could it be said that they fall on hard times? I think we're doing hard times here. Into which part of your body do serendipitous events fall? Lap. Things fall into your lap. In the northern hemisphere, which is the first full moon of fall? Okay, well, this one was... No, I thought it was Harvest, but it's not Harvest. October. Okay, right, we're doing things by months. I forgot. What is the season which is opposite fall? Spring. I don't know why it took me, like, half a second longer than I feel like it should have. What is the season which precedes fall? Summer. Okay, so we've solved our clues. Now we have arrow time. We have all these arrows, presumably one for every every clue. There's 33 clues and 33 arrows. I'm wondering if these go in order? All right, I think we have to break out the most accurate image editing tool at every puzzle hunter's disposal. Google Slides, MS Paint. <laughs> I wonder if the arrows point to a letter in the clue. That's what I was thinking, but I gotta figure out, like, how, how. <laughs> Where was number one? Number one was the reds. So let's try it, I don't know, this way? So one of the things that we had to do in a previous puzzle was um, determine the lengths. Like, just looking at this, the, the third arrow appears to be one of the longer ones. But... Our third word is is not that long, so I'm thinking there's a reordering here of some kind. Do these do each of these arrows have a unique length? Do each of these arrows have a unique length? They seem it seems that they do. So I think we need to order uh, these answers because we're basically falling down the page as we scroll. 
I'm thinking we need to order these answers like this. So like the first answer, the shallowest answer is 25, followed by 24. Is that what we're doing? Grab a horizontal line and we're gonna slowly move that down until we get to each of our arrows. <laughs> It looks like 25 is first. I don't know if these first letters are going to spell something. I also guessed that potentially the last letters could spell something because fall was always at the end of every clue. All right, so I think let's go back here, move our line down a little bit more. It looks like 24 is next. Next up we have 33. I wonder if it's like take answer 24 and put it at the top. That was the other option, but these weren't numbered. So I don't really know if if that's what we're doing. Worst comes to worst, we do the horizontal line trick again, I guess. You think sorting by column G would turn column D into the other ordering. Oh, I think you're probably right. So yeah, we might not have to do a lot to resort if I've picked the wrong way here. Okay, so it does look like, I mean, this isn't looking like anything, right? I could tell from the first couple that the first letters weren't spelling anything, but I was holding out hope that the last letters might spell something. But H-R-H-S-N, yeah, that's not looking like anything. So I do, I need to sort by, what, F? I need to sort all of this by F, right? Sort these by column F from A to Z. Oh, that's it. So that sorted these answers into the correct order. Let's read the first letters of this column now. On which date does the Ides of March fall? On which date is the 15th, right? Is that the right enumeration? That looks right. All right, I'm pretty sure it's the 15th. Hey, we did it, the 15th. Okay, so let's see what our two new puzzles are, which won't be entering the queue anytime soon. <laughs> this one has a yellow circle on the door. Note, if you can't zoom in far enough to see all the levels of this puzzle, you can click on this link to download all the pages separately. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, so this is red one, two, three. Who wrote this? Some sort of cipher. Get some numbers and some crossing lines. Gotta decode some sort of cipher thing, it looks like. And then down a rabbit hole. Oh my gosh. There, there certainly are a lot of pages. Apparently multiple copies of this puzzle got copied into this file. Please excuse the infinite recursion. Even top tier puzzle writers make mistakes sometimes. All right, I think it's time for another vote. We have UK versus US, diagram lists. We have Breck Keck Keck, find the solutions. Misspliced reels. All right, those are our options. I am starting up the poll. Here we go. Diagram list is currently in the lead. Breck Keck Keck and UK versus US are within striking distance though. We want diagram list, which is blue two dash one. Okay, so of course the first page is just a big sheet of graph paper. I, uh, I'm gonna copy that over to the sheet. Done. Okay. <laughs> um, we do have this little note at the bottom of the page. So I'm gonna bring that in. We also have the title, of course, and that this is blue two one. Now we have our clues. Okay, so we have these, again, we have a piece of graph paper and at the bottom of that, it says all words must be entered horizontally or vertically in the grid as one normally would in a crossword puzzle. However, it does not really matter whether you begin horizontally or vertically as either will reveal the same solution. Okay, they often appear on either side of you while you're sitting. Unless you're ignoring number two, in which case they bring people into custody. I guess was that each of these clues, this clue, if we ignore just everything in the parentheses about number two, we just have a normal crossword clue. They often appear on either side of you while you're sitting and we need an eight letter word. But I'm guessing 
that one of those eight letters for number one crosses number two. And if we ignored that letter, the remaining word has the definition of in which case they bring people into custody. So that would be a seven letter word. I think that's what we're doing. Armrests and arrests, says Light Scouters. I like that. I'm just going to start going across because it doesn't matter. So now, I believe number two is going to be crossing this M. Hotter and more humid. Unless you're ignoring three, in which case it's just in assailant. Um, I think, yeah, we're going muggier. And if we ignore three, which is going to be this I, we get mugger. They're usually secret and a great place to lay low. Unless you're ignoring four, in which case it's just disgusting looking. Hideout? Hideouts? And hideous. The British English spelling of a librarian or an art auction house employee who compiles lists of items within a collection. Unless you're ignoring five, in which case it's the American English spelling. <laughs> oh, cataloger. Is it cataloger? An adjective for a screenplay which was never made into a movie. Unless you're ignoring six, in which case it's more like a US tax return which was never submitted. Unfilmed versus unfiled. That makes sense. Good call, Merlin Mew. Enthusiastic cries of approval or hired bandits. Unless you're ignoring nine, in which case it's Native American warriors. Braves are Native American warriors, so bravos. More offbeat or eccentric. Unless you're ignoring 11, in which case it's just a movie by Ryan Johnson. Um, looper, and so loopier. And Dragon already found the last one is fiance and fiance? Fiance. Interesting. An engaged female is fiance. And if you ignore the last letter, then it's the male. Okay. So, that's our crossword. <laughs> Looks great. I'm thinking we just are going to be looking at where they cross. That's my guess, at least. I noticed a lot of them were like vowels and stuff. So we have MIT. U M A B O L I E M I T U M A B O L I E Stromboli. This doesn't appear to be a thing. It doesn't seem to spell anything going in reverse. Iloba Mutim. Now I tried to read down like the diagonal in between all of our changed letters. That didn't seem to work either. You may want to look at the flavor text again. Okay, wait, there was flavor text? I mean, there is there is this. All words must be entered horizontally or vertically into the grid as one normally would in a crossword puzzle. However, it doesn't really matter whether you begin horizontally or vertically as either will reveal the same solution. Maybe it's because we would have to fill it in the other way either way. So we want to start with armrest. We go from hideouts to catalog. Start on top of the other. So we put armrest here. Then muggier goes here. Whoa. So are we looking at the places where they overlap? Age of reason. Age of reason is going to be where they're going to overlap. Interesting. Okay, there we go. Age of Reason. Uh, this was to blue 2, 1. This gives us two new puzzles. So this is A is 4. The solution to 33 clues get filled into diagram. So that's cool. And then cubic cryptic crossword. Like a Rubik's Cube. With a cryptic crossword? Oh, that sounds like fun. So thank you all in chat for helping me out today with this um, puzzle hunt with Edric's 2021 Truzzle Hunt. Have a great day, everybody, and as always, happy escaping.